Hello, so in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a strawberry. I'm going to show you how to model the strawberry and then I'm going to do some simple texturing. I'm going to provide the top of the strawberry. It's going to be simple enough to create a convincing looking strawberry. Okay, so let's get started. Let's open up Maya. We're going to, do, we're going to create a sphere, polygon sphere. Okay, press 5 on the keyboard, and we're going to set this to 15 by 15. Scale this up, like so. Now select faces. I'm going to double click on the move tool. We'll scroll down, and we're going to choose drag select. It's just a preference thing, you don't have to do it if you don't feel like it. So let's shape the... Let's make the shape of the strawberry. Let's select the bottom faces. And we press B for soft selection. I'm also going to press 3 to work on subdivision mode. Let's do some simple shaping. For soft selection off, let's select a few edges. Move those up. Okay, so let's say this is our shape. And uh, we're going to select edges. Let me go back to marquee select and select all the edges. Make sure they're all selected. So now we're going to we're going to save a set, a quick select set, meaning we're saving the selection. Let's call it edges. And say OK. Now select faces and select all the faces. And we're going to edit mesh. Now go to edge mode. And now we're going to use that set that we just saved. So we're going to edit, quick select sets, and here's our edges that we select. We will save. Now they're selected. We will edit mesh, delete edge vertex. So now that changes the edge flow. Now select all the faces. We go back to drag select. Deselect some of the top ones. Maybe deselect this area too. So now we're going to edit mesh, extrude. Wait a second. Before we do that, we're going to make sure this is not selected. Now we go to extrude. There you go.
going to press G one more time. Use the blue arrow. Now G one more time. Scale that down. And one last time G. Okay. Let me grow the selection just once. Let's save this as a quick set as well. Let's call it faces. This is a, obviously this should be more better shaped than what I did here, so you know, let's go back and do some more fine tuning. So let's give it some texture, let's assign a new material, let's do a blend. I'm going to call this one red. Click on the color. Now this is some simple texturing of course. Now let's get that faces set that we saved. And assign a new material to that. And your blend. So this one yellow. Let's give it a yellowish color. Now let's create the the top. I'm gonna do is going to use a cylinder. Click on the channel box here. May I select select this? Press three in the keyboard. Let me just move some of the edges down like this. Soft selection with this one. Okay. So for this one, we're going to window UV texture editor. Okay, that looks fine. So let's go to the material attributes for this one. This was the lumber one. Look at this checker box. Then we're going to choose file. Okay, so now we loaded the texture. And we mix it in this. Or press 6 on the keyboard. I will go back to the UV texture editor. Click here. W to graph. R to scale.
we should be seeing something like this. I mean, this is really simple, so we're not going crazy with it. I mean, you can do some more shaping. Maybe you could even hit Ctrl D to duplicate and go up, perhaps. But this one has a goes this way or something. So this is how you would make a really simple looking uh, strawberry. Not not really too fancy, but simple enough that you get the idea. 